Okay. A few more. 1d4 again. Remove knight f3 again. No, let's remove knight c3 this time. Maybe there will be no game, so I'll get away with this d4 knight c3. No, I will not. E4. All right. Sorry for this. Yeah, let's play F4 maybe. And then Knight F3. No, it's probably going wrong way. Yeah. yeah. Knight f3, bishop d3, e5, h4, bishop takes h7, and checkmate. Actually, let's try to sort of win by removing e5. So I'll remove f takes, and I'm also ready to play h4. Okay, if he plays knight somewhere, I just go h4. Now I remove bishop takes h7. Yeah, then I remove knight g5. Then I remove h takes. And otherwise I go queen h5 and remove h takes. And this is how we win. Okay. So now it's important. I guess I remove queen h8 and then I remove g6, right? Yeah. I mean, I could win by force, but yeah, I wanted to win by removing here yeah, and failed to. Yeah, now it's just I mean, it's a different story. Why is it still winning after c5? But. Um, yeah, I must admit, like, I failed the main task. Should probably remove, like, DE to be ready to meet this. Uh... Yeah, whatever, anyway. Yeah, queen takes e7, or I don't know, knight takes b7. Then we take it seven, go rook h seven, go ninety six. Or maybe we don't go ninety six, actually we go d five. And then we keep uh, ninety six for for removing it. Yeah, now I'm remove ninety six and wait for a move. Yeah, and then I remove d takes. And then I, I don't know. Okay, now we're winning, yeah. Should I remove e7? It's kind of risky. Also not that much. Yeah, he resigns. All right, thanks for the game. <laughs>